With the new Beyblade generation, hopefully on the horizon, we have a lot to look forward to. I've already asked you guys what you want to see from this new generation, but now I'm going to ask you guys what you don't want to see. I made a community tab post asking you guys what are some things you don't want to see in the new generation of Beyblade, and we're going to be looking at what you said. Before we hop into the comments though, hit that like button and hit subscribe to join the Nook Nation, the greatest nation on the planet ever. It's true, I promise. Starting off, this is the top comment by far, and it says, constant main character switches and well-established strong characters getting beaten by newbies a few seasons later. This is something that I agree with. Burst after season two definitely kind of dropped off in terms of story because it didn't follow Vault anymore, so you didn't really care for the main characters as much. And whenever you started to care for Aiga, Drum, Hikaru, etc., they were gone the next season. The Plastic and Metal Fight era were completely different because they followed the same cast of characters that sure would lose every once in a while for sure, but they still overcame the challenge and you liked these characters more because of it. For the next comment, we have, I don't want an evolution of certain bays just to be given to another character and not the original owner. This kind of goes with the whole changing main characters because whenever they change main characters, they change all the side characters as well. And for some characters in Bay, I think it's okay. Like Ragnarok going from Rantaro to Ranjiro. Amigo! But Longinus going from Louie to Loden and Fafnir going from Free to Fumia, that was just really weird. And I don't think anybody liked that. The next comment says, for it to come out in 2024, I want it to come out in 2023 while it's still popular. I would like for it to come out in 2023 as well, but if they do need to skip a year to make it better, that's fine with me. We have had so many years of burst in Beyblade in a row, maybe a year off would be okay. This next one I agree with so much, especially when it comes to burst. And the comment says, launchers that continue to break after five uses. Very true. I think Burst had some of the worst launchers, if not the worst launchers out of any generation. My first ever string launcher from Metal Fight still works perfectly to this day. Meanwhile, I've already gone through like three DB string launchers. They're just really brittle. The comment continues and says, bring back the metal or even do a revamp of the Plastic Gen series. I definitely want to see a Metal Fight 2.0. I've said this so many times. There's just something that's really special about battling the Metal Fusion Metal Fight Bays. It's just a completely different experience and I want that to come back. And the next comment is kind of connected to the last one and it says, another generation means crappy light launchers again. The next comment is really important for the competitive aspect of the game and it says no more spin steal life after death only meta and this is very true but it's been just really bad for Beyblade Burst I think Vanish Longinus is a really popular combo you have combos like I think Wind Dragon pretty much everything that is round and can take hits and stay in the middle of the stadium and it just makes Beyblade so boring. You do have some attack combos out there like Xyphoid Excalibur on Extreme, but those just don't work nearly as well because Bays can't burst anymore. You're relying on a Bay being KO'd and it's just way easier just to build a heavy Bay that sits in the middle of the stadium even if it's so boring. And I'm actually gonna add on to that. I think that as the bays have gotten bigger and heavier and it bursts less and less, I think that's made battles more boring and I don't think they're nearly as interesting. And there are several of you that also do not like this stamina meta, as you can tell by the amount of comments I got. Next one is interesting and it's not something I thought of, but it says a Takara Tomy and Hasbro brand unification, like what they did with the mainline Transformers toys. This one I actually had to look into because I'm not really into Transformers. It's a Nerf Elite 2.0 blaster, thinner plastic, cheaper feeling in the hand, clipped, glued together, plastic spring. You get what I'm talking about. This is knockoff quality, knockoff plastic quality, Transformers at its finest. But a lot of the other Hasbro toy lines like Nerf, Transformers, I think Power Rangers have gone down in quality just like Beyblade has. So it's not a Beyblade problem, it's kind of a Hasbro problem. And whenever you have Hasbro saying they want to reduce their costs while also improving their profits, I think that this is only going to continue. And speaking of Hasbro, you have Crazy Ares, the design master himself, saying he doesn't want 
Hasbro. And you also have another comment saying, Hasbro. There is quite a few of these actually. If anybody at Hasbro is watching this video, just know we don't hate you guys. We love Beyblade, but hashtag do better Hasbro. And finally, the most important comment of them all that I've received ever, potentially, Lay's or Doritos. I'm kind of hungry now. But that's gonna wrap up this video. We talked about several things that we do not want to see, like main character swaps, bays being given to other characters for no reason, launchers that continue to break, boring competitive metas, and Hasbro. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What are some things that you do not want to see in this new generation of Beyblade, hopefully coming next year or the year after? Do remember that March 21st, we should be seeing something potentially regarding the next generation or just the future of Beyblade. It was a little piece of paper included with the VS set. But thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have fun and bay away.